Hey, what's up everybody? This is the Tidal Basin Stronghold. This is going to be my first impressions of it. Just going in right now. You do have to do a little side quest to be able to do this first, but uh, you don't even have to like shoot anybody. It's really straightforward. You pretty much just have to go like interact with the thing. It's real quick. But yeah, this is just going to be my natural playing through it, trying it out, be giving my impressions of it so far. Now another thing with this patch, they change the entire weapon mod system. Which changes like the entire balance of the game. As you can see here, a lot of them don't have their negative properties. They're almost all positives. Although they did nerf my extended magazine I liked. Now it's only 10 rounds for assault rifles. But yeah, as you can see, a lot of them don't have their negative properties. Some of them still do, but only when it makes sense. So yeah, that pretty much changes everything. I, that's a good change. It was kind of a pain to manage, uh, you know, the pros and cons of those. Yeah, just late last night... I got above the gear score to even be able to do this, so I was cutting it, cutting it real close. So I'm definitely not a big, uh, not a beefcake going into this. Gotta play careful. Those turrets? Yeah. I kind of like this wide open conflict right here. I was a little concerned that these strongholds might feel like a little too similar. I guess we'll we'll wait and see. I'm not sure if this applies to the console version, but they added a uh, field of view slider as well. I have it at about 50% uh, of uh, how high you can take it without getting too much of a fisheye look. Am I even doing damage to those? I don't think, no, not. I was supposed to be waving. <laughs> Encrypted signal source detected. That sounds promising. It could be a way to intercept Black Tusk comms. Also, a slight annoyance on the PC version. Um, most of my mouse options, actually all of my mouse options were reset, so I was just trying to figure out where I had my sensitivity at. My key bindings were fine, but a lot of my little uh, gameplay options and mouse options were uh, reset. Very easy to tell when you log in your mouse is not inverted when you play inverted. It's like, oh, they changed it. They reset them. I'm just glad my key bindings weren't touched. Oh, the sniper. Takes so long to reload. I just got it last night. It's like the best gear score sniper I have, but yeah, it takes so long to reload. Come 
kind of a cool like construction vibe. I like the terrain so far. A little more varied. Some of my favorite encounters in this game are the ones that use verticality, because this game, uh, this game, and especially the first game, were very uh, like flat. So whenever they use verticality, I'm all for it. Yeah, I'm definitely, I'm definitely the lowest gear score on the team. We have a 451, 451, 454. Status on those helos. Gonna be a few more minutes. We're working on it. Shit, copy that. Find a way to keep those helicopters grounded. Somebody snipe me. Serious trauma detected. Yeah, the little robots hit me hard. Take that thing out. Most of the time, those little robot dudes, I like hardly ever see them like shoot at me. It seems like they just stand there a lot. Maybe they like improve their AI. Yeah, this patch, you can tell like a lot of little changes um, to the interface, and obviously like the big changes to the weapon mods. They added uh, weekly invaded missions, which I'm not sure exactly uh, how that differs from just doing the regular missions. I'll have to try that out next. I'm hoping this has like a unique enemy type in this somewhere. Open. I like that so far this isn't utilizing too much of the like spawn closet concept that uh, kind of frustrating some of the more regular missions. So far I haven't seen any weird uh, you know spawning shenanigans. if that's actually hitting that. It is not hitting it very hard though. Okay. 
Okay, so you gotta get behind this one. Yeah, kind of cool uh, turret system going on here. We have to hit their, uh, figure out where their weak spot is. some armor. Oh yeah, right here. A little better. Do this as quickly as possible. It's like, who's just, like, laying into the fire there? It's that dude's little turret. Or players. I missed a drop. Must get all loot. Knee shot. Oh. That was a nice roll move. Parkour. Yeah, this is kind of what I was talking about with the, uh, the spawn closets. This mission's doing a good job on uh, kind of how the battle, like, ebbs and flows with, okay, they're coming from this side, they're coming from this side, they don't feel like they're, like, spawning right on my butt, like they sometimes do. Doesn't feel like you're getting, like, a video game ambushed as, as much as some of the fights. dude. Looks like one of those little like fake dummies you can throw out in uh, Phantom Pain. Those little like blow up decoys. I seem like that's a reoccurring thing going on in this weird little graphical glitch. Long as do, long as it doesn't affect gameplay, uh, glitches don't bother me too much like that. Okay, listen up. Plan B. We'll transport I've played so many video games in my time that that's like a that's a non-issue when it's like oh weird little graphic thing whatever. Move on. This is cool. Not sure what the uh, functionality of these are, but they look cool.
Intercept the antiviral. My Alexa just reminded me that the uh, exterminator dude's coming over today. To spray for bugs. Hopefully it doesn't come when we're playing through this. Oh, we have to gather everybody. That's why. Okay. That's the emote I meant to do the last time. I just see red and I assume it's like an exploding barrel in this game. That was not an exploding barrel. This game proves that red barrels are still alive and well in 2019. Hey, they're still fun to shoot every time. If it ain't broke. Try to act all cool like I'm making fun of red barrels, but they're they're fun to shoot every time. I'm lying to myself, making fun of them. As I gamers, there's something just always satisfying about hitting weak points, things that explode. Is that a new enemy? It's just like an old enemy with a thing on his butt. I don't really like this crossbow too much. I like using assault rifles in this game, that's why I was picked this uh, specialization, because you get the boost to assault rifles. But yeah, definitely the worst... Getting hit by some AoE. Definitely the worst, uh, you know, special weapon. what I wanted to do. Call nearby allies for this? Additional code I guess we just had to do that, okay. Get that Acting like it's cylinder. a control point. Will secure the first cylinder in the meantime. Weekly challenge. I always forget to grab these. See the interface, uh, been a little updated here. At least on PC, you got bigger tabs here at the top. A few little nice changes like that. Also on the map, the map has nice uh, big icons now.
One of my favorite things in like all of gaming is just like updates that improve games. Just make them either play better, run better. I really love ones when they run better. I love graphics drivers and game patches that just make like it's almost like you're getting free RAM into your graphics card or something. It's like this game just runs like 20 frames a second better because of a thing you just downloaded on the internet. I love that. forget to reload this stupid sniper. It takes forever. Requesting support fire. We've got hostiles on the bridge. Request denied. Can't risk those antivirals. Copy that. Tango, under fire. Like, so far this definitely isn't as, challenged as challenging as I thought it would be. I thought for just barely meeting the gear score requirement. But it is just, you know, normal story mode difficulty. Yeah, I'm, I'm playing a little more uh, uh, loosey-goosey than I thought I'd be able to. This is how I naturally like to play, is kind of dumb. And uh, some of the other strongholds I recently just did. I feel like I had to kind of hunker down a little more at times. Unless my teammates are just like super strong, making this easy, I don't know. I recently went to a park and I kind of had like a gate like the whole park was gated off like this it was like in a swamp and I had one of these and I looked at it it's like there are alligators like look out for al alligators like, eh, maybe we shouldn't walk on this weird swamp path right next to water because I also recently saw that YouTube video of like a crocodile like jumping out in like a millisecond and like, taking out a antelope like how fast those things can jump out of water you'd be you'd be chomped before you even knew you were chomped yeah so always look at those little things when you go into parks there may be predators awaiting to eat you pretty much just don't go outside just play video games and watch YouTube life advice Somewhere, somewhere right around the last NVIDIA driver, and also the last time the Division 2 patched, I've been getting those big 
stutters. I'm not sure. I'm thinking it's maybe the NVIDIA driver now. Because I thought it would have maybe been fixed with this patch if it was the division. Yeah, it'll just hang up for like a second every like 10 minutes or so. Back to my previous point, sometimes there's the inverse where updates are actually down dates and things get worse, and that's one of my least favorite things. So those aren't dummies, are they? I'm pretty... I think that's a glitch. Unless they just introduced, like, inflatable dummies. No, that's definitely a glitch. He's not touching the ground. Level up. Get those rocket launchers prepped. Talk to me, rocket launchers. I'm gonna blow up the motherfucking White House. Are you Whoa. out of your goddamn mind? We need to cripple these assholes. So that's what I'm gonna do. Christ, she's insane! Agent, do whatever you can to prevent the launch of those rockets. Rocket launchers are loaded. God damn it, Wyvern! Stand down! Negative, sir. I refuse. Good, good line there. I rebel. Reminds me of something from like Borderlands. There's a lot of like being in these like little rooms where you can see the villain monologue right at you, right in front of you. A lot of games do that. For some reason it reminded me of Borderlands. I'm not sure how effective your flame turret is, bud. You gotta throw it out there a little farther. What do I know? The flame turret's probably like the most OP thing, I don't know. This is timed. Disable the rocket launcher. Uh oh. You're gonna fail this? How do you disable it? Did we just failed. That was a dumb line. I think that's the first time I've seen objective failed in this whole game. Is that a 
Is that a thing? Agent needs assistance. All right, so we have to shoot the rocket launcher. Now we know. Can't see the fireworks. <laughs> you won't be disappointed. We were too busy just mindlessly shooting guys, and I was ranting about something. Who knows? Target locked. Initiating launch. Yeah, I wasn't really paying attention to the miss mission uh, stuff. Destroy generators, okay. Tends to help when you pay attention, huh? Disable rocket launcher. Does that mean just shoot it? No. I'm confused. How do you disable it? Supposed to be shooting that little thing on the top, I guess? I feel like there was supposed to be a health bar that wasn't displaying there. Or I was doing it wrong. Second try hero. Sounds about right. Burning up. If you were like on fire, would you say burning up in that same delivery? Probably. I don't know. I haven't been on. Haven't been completely on fire before. Some of the enemy AI like lines are just cracking me up in this game. But sometimes they're like, I'm gonna flank them. But they like yell it out. It's like that's not that's the exact opposite of how you do a flank. You don't shout out, I'm gonna flank. I realize they say that for us the player, but in the world of this game it's a little odd.
I see. I see what I was doing wrong. Now there's the health bar. After you kill that little antenna. Sniper's not doing much to her. Sir, we've got enemy helicopters we did on it. approach. Should we knock them down? Negative. Hold your fire. We can't chance those cylinders getting destroyed. Well, that's a bit of luck. Agent, you managed to secure the antivirals and shut down a key Black Tusk stronghold. Not to mention preventing a rocket World attack tier five. operations. Incredible work, Agents. Like, truly incredible. But there's still more So yeah, that was the Tidal Basin Stronghold. Um, what do I think? Had a few little glitches here and there. Overall, I liked it. It's not too drastically different from, you know, the, what to expect from the other three. It did have some cool elements. Uh, didn't blow my mind, but was definitely enjoyable to get through. Uh, not terribly challenging, but it was just playing on the standard uh, story. Uh, difficulty. So yeah, that was Tidal Basin in the Division 2. Uh, special thanks to Ubisoft for providing the channel a copy of the Division 2. And thanks for checking this out, everybody. Hopefully you can get in there soon or now and uh, go try it out for yourself. And thanks for watching.